If you are a Business Central user, I am sure that sometime you ever created a view. But what is a view? Actually, a view is a collection of filters that you put on a page to reduce the number of records displayed and that can be saved by giving it a name. Let me show you with an example. If we go to uh, this page, we can go here and show the filters, pressing here. And then we can include all the filters that we need. In this part of the page, we have all the records, but sometimes I need to filter in order to reduce this number of uh, records. Then, for instance, I want to include a filter with the quantity on hands that really is the inventory. And I can say the uh, inventory um, is greater than, than zero. We have now the information filtered. And we can see here this icon indicate that it's filtered, the information is filtered. Also, I can even to order by quantity with the bigger at the beginning and the less uh, uh, inventory uh, at the end. I can save the information in order to reuse this uh, filter in other moment. Remember that we only have here one filter, but imagine that you have a lot of filters with different fields. And then for us, uh, it's very tedious to include again all the filters every day. And then we can save or store this information in the system using the views. For instance, I can put here uh, items with inventory. Perfect. Now I have all the views, all the information, and items with inventory only filtering information. This is great. It's pretty useful. But what happens if I want to pass this filter or this collection of filters to another environment? Then we have a little problem because it's not possible to pass this information. But as you can see here, the views, some of them are by default. I mean, Microsoft put some views in the standard Business Central. Then let me show you how to do this. Welcome to my channel, Learning Business Central. My name is Roberto Corella, and today I want to show you how to create this kind of views using VS Code and AL. If you are not subscribed to my channel, press the button now so you don't miss any of my videos and press like if you think it can be interesting for others. Let me show you with a little example how to create these views by an extension. In this case, I've created an extension. It's a little extension. Uh, if you don't know how to create an extension, please check other of my videos uh, where I explain how to create a, an, an extension. We have a little information here. It's only the APPJSON. We have the Movistas uh, is the name of the extension. Uh, the version is the uh, 1000. The only thing important here is the number of their branches, the ID branches, to uh, to avoid problems when you put this inform this extension in uh, your sandbox. Okay, but then let me show you how to create um, the the view. Uh, as you know we can create an extension, a page extension from, for instance, for item list. This is the page item list. Then we can cre uh, create an extension for this in order to put our views in our system or to export these views to other environments. Come back again to the VS Code and we have, of course, layout, of course, actions. We can add actions. We can add fields to our layout, but we have another section in our uh, VS Code um, snippet that we can use to create views. As the rest of the sections in the page extension, we need to put where we want to include the view. 
I put at last. I mean, I put this view in the last position of the views. Then I put the section view. I put a name. Of course, I put an, um, a caption. How I want to order, order the, the, the view. And finally, what uh, is the filter that I need? In this case, inventory uh, is filtered by greater than zero. OK, with this information, when this um, uh, page extension is created, I can upload this extension to our um, sandbox in this case. Let's go here and start the booking. Remember that we can see the extension here, extension management, extension management. Let's go to the, um, put in the list and go to the demo vistas. Is the uh, publisher is Roberto Corella and uh, the version is uh, the 1000. It's the extension that I just to put in the um, uh, sandbox. Then let's go to items. Put in a list mode. Now we have the two views. The views that I created by VS Code are not possible to remove, but the views created manually, then I can delete it directly from here. As you can see here, it's a very easy functionality to apply to your pages. If you have any question, you can put it in the comments. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one.